Here are the installation steps for the adhesive bonded cap sheet membranes on a field surface. Begin the installation by coating the base sheet membrane with adhesive using a notch squeegee. Keep 2 inches or 50 millimeters around drains and vents without adhesive for welding. Starting at the drain, install the cap sheet membrane centered on the drain. Apply pressure on the whole surface with a membrane roller to ensure complete and uniform adherence. On the first row of the membrane at the drain, coat the granulated side lap with adhesive using a notch squeegee to create an adequate overlapping surface and leave 2 inches or 50 millimeters for the hot air welding. Install each strip by overlapping the previous one laterally following the line and overlap 6 inches or 150 millimeters at the terminations. Note that the end lap joints must be spaced at least 12 inches or 300 millimeters. At the end laps, cut at an angle the corner of the area that will be covered with the next roll of membrane. Note that the end laps must be at least 36 inches or 920 millimeters away from the drain. After the installation of each strip, apply pressure on the whole surface with a membrane roller to ensure complete and uniform adherence. Coat the first 4 inches or 100 millimeters of the membrane end laps with the adhesive using a notch squeegee and leave the last 2 inches or 50 millimeters without adhesive for welding. Adhere the end laps on the adhesive by using a membrane roller to ensure complete and uniform adherence. Weld the last 2 inches or 50 millimeters of the end laps with the field surface membrane using an electric hot air welder and a membrane roller. Seal the 2 inches or 50 millimeters of the side lap joints with an automatic hot air welder. Weld the last 2 inches or 50 millimeters of the membrane around the drain or the vent using an electric hot air welder and a membrane roller. Complete the installation by applying a bead of sealant around the vent. This installation is now complete.